a northern oriole or Baltimore oriole. And just again, I'm going to slow the northern flicker. But sadly, <laughs> we pick up far too many of this particular species. They hit with such tremendous force that they, they tend to die more frequently than some of the smaller species do. The impact is too great for them to sustain. Quite frankly, is it's a, an issue that is it really isn't difficult to, to fix. You can see reflections in there. It's not bird friendly at all. Actually, it's it's like a mirror. Many of these birds are endangered, and so if we can build our uh, built environment in a way that reduces migratory bird deaths, it's a good thing. In Toronto, we have so many that towers that are just 100% glass. This building is only 37% glass. That helps with the bird strike issue. It also helps insulate the building, so it's a much better insulated building than you would normally get for a condo in Toronto. So at this particular site, we were finding an average of 100 birds a year. Since the, these markers have gone up, we've been finding one, maybe two birds a year at this particular facade. So it's, it's definitely doing its job quite beautifully. The less birds that are killed in, by collisions with buildings in Toronto, the more will make it up to the boreal forest to breed. I think that the city of Toronto should be very proud of the work they've done.